Hey there doll friends! Welcome to my very first repaint tutorial and today I'm going to show you how I repainted my Cleo Denial to make her look like Cupid. But before anything else, this video is a special Valentine's collaboration between these awesome people I'm sure you know and love. So after watching this tutorial, make sure to head over to Hexian, Delightful, Moonlight Jewel, and Seasonal Frostbite's channels to see what they got for you for Valentine's. Now let's begin. First, cut off all the doll's hair and remove her factory paint using 100% acetone. I've already done this before so I couldn't show you. Basically, you just wipe it off. And then I seal my doll at least 4 times and leave it overnight to cure properly. And then I start drawing out the details of my face up using watercolor pencils. For the shadows and blush, I use soft pastels with a makeup brush. When I feel like I'm almost scratching my sealant surface, instead of drawing on with pencils, I paint it on instead. Throughout this video, you'll see me use a mix of drawing and painting techniques.
For a bit of shimmer, I build on layers of pearl pigments. When drawing eyebrows, I first sketch it out with pastels. And then using an eraser that's been cut at an angle, I carefully sculpt my desired eyebrow shape. When you're satisfied with the brow shape, get your kneaded eraser and lightly dab on the inner corner. And then using your pencils, darken the sharper end of the brow to achieve that gradient look. Now let's give her a star butterfly heart blush. There was an ugly bump on her left cheek caused by my sealant, so I'm going to add a smaller heart to cover it up. Here, I'm darkening the eyebrows more to give it dimension and then highlight the brow bone later with soft pastels. You can't really tell on the video but I painted the hearts over with very light pink acrylic paint. This is optional. But since I can still see the bump, I cover the little heart with glitter. Now we'll add eyelashes. First, I cut my lashes and then glue them one by one. This method is easier for me and allows me to move them around to better fit the eye shape. Once they're dry, you won't even notice they're cut into sections. Finally, we add gloss to the lips, eyes, and the glittered heart, and she's done! There will be a tutorial on this wig, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for watching! And if you'd like to see more repaint videos like this one, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. See you on the next one and happy Valentine's!